Yo, if I see one comment comparing me to Steve Jobs, yeah? The show's over. Yo guys, what is up? My name is Tarba. I'm entering my fourth year of medical school. And today I want to make this quick video discussing my biggest and best tip for medical and dental school and also whether medicine is tough. Okay, so my biggest tip. So for a second, just forget about sort of like how you're making notes and what the best revision method or learning method is. Forget all about that for a second. The most important thing to remember in medical and dental school is to focus on yourself. Don't compare yourself to others. You're going from sixth form or college where you were the cream of the crop, you were, you were high achieving, to now medical and dental school where you're surrounded by people with amazing UCAT, amazing A-levels, amazing BMAT, you name it. You thought you were the cream of the crop, yeah, and now you just realize you're a little bit of frosting on that cake. I still remember getting my marks back from this assignment that I did in my first year of medical school, and alhamdulillah, you know, I passed, but I looked at my ranking, and I was like hovering below average, and I just felt, I was disappointed, and then after getting my rankings for my other exams as well that I did later in the year, and them also being sort of average or below average. I think it was then in my first day where I really realized that I'm not really special, but this is the thing that you guys need to understand. You never were special. You got to this point, you got to where you are, alhamdulillah, as a first day medical or dental student, not because you're special, but because of sheer hard work, full stop. Because of sacrifice, you know, whilst others were grinding, you know, at the parties, you were grinding your A-level pass papers. Whilst others were chilling and relaxing, chillaxing, you were packing your bags for your dentistry or your medicine interview you had in a few days. You will always get out what you put in and you've put in so much to get to this point. But constantly comparing yourself to others is just going to lead to jealousy, self-doubt, nausea, just it's, it's not good. If you can look at others for motivation, then that's great, but do not get sucked into this toxic competition that you can find at medical and dental school. Compete with yourself. Become the strongest version of yourself. Once you start competing with yourself only, then you'll reach much further heights than you could ever attain comparing yourself to others. So that's my biggest tip for medical and dental school. If you're thinking, oh, well, that's not really useful, trust me, it's gonna come in useful, just remember it and then you'll realize in your first year like how much competition and how competitive people can be. But just focus on yourself and you'll be fine. If you guys are interested, then I've got other videos on more specific tips about medical school and must have things at medical school. So links in the description, I'll have them on the screen as well. Now, let's talk about whether medicine is tough. If I was to compare the actual content of medical school to A-level biology, then I would say it's much more in-depth and complicated and there's much more volume to it as well. Medicine is like an ocean. It's, it's so vast, you'll, you'll never be able to know absolutely everything about all the topics in medicine. In contrast to A-level biology where you, know, you have this textbook and the syllabus and you can more or less, you, you might not be able to know absolutely everything, but you can more or less cover the whole content. Medical school is a whole different ball game. You just, you will, you'll get used to going into exams not knowing quite a few stuff basically. And you'll get used to coming out of exams thinking, what the hell have I just done there? That, that was crazy. Uh, is, this, is this for um, future medical students? Yeah, yeah. Just don't. It's stupid. <laughs> honestly, honestly, explain to me, explain to me the difference between appropriate and first line management. Okay? No one knows the difference. But one thing to mention at medical school is that, you know, if you get 70%, 70% in a medical school exam, generally across different medical schools. That is like amazing, that's really good. I mean, as long as you pass, then it's really good. But 70%, that's really good. That's like a, a really comfortable pass, basically. Whereas A-level biology, I remember like, you had to get like above 80% or 90% to get an A, which is sort of what's expected for you to get. So don't don't be disheartened when you come to medical school and you, and you, you might get sort of the 60%, 70%, even like 50% as well, which I, I've achieved. As long as you pass, then it's fine. But I think this is something really important actually to mention is you have to look inward and ask yourself, what do you want out of this? If you want to ace your exam so you can enter a competitive field such as surgery, then you're just gonna have to work a lot more harder than other people who may not be as bothered about getting to the top because they want to go for something less competitive than surgery, which is completely fine. They, those people just sort of need to pass and get through medical school. Myself personally, I don't want to go for something too competitive and I want to make the most out of uni by making memories and by having fun. So I've always just aimed at passing comfortably basically with medicine. It's meant that Alhamdulillah, I've managed to survive 
five so far <laughs> in medical school. But then it's meant that I've been able to have so much fun with friends, make memories, pursue my passion as well of creating content on YouTube as well, which I don't think would be possible for me if I was trying to get to the very top and trying to ace every exam. So that's why I would say, I'd say medical school is as tough as you make it basically. Just a tip for anyone who wants to achieve a high rank at medical school, you need to be tactful. Look at the weight of your exams in terms of their contribution to your overall rank and score at the end of medical school. For example, first year might only contribute a few percent to your overall rank, whereas there's this exam called the SJT, the Situational Judgment Test, that you do in your final year of medicine. And I think that contributes something like 50% to your overall rank of medical school. So that's something to bear in mind because you don't want to burn out in your first sort of years of medical school before you get to those big daddy exams. If you want to know a bit more about burnout and how I deal with stress, then make sure to check out a few of my other videos as well. And uh, make sure to check out last video as well, which was an absolute banger. Yeah, of course. Um... I hope this video was useful. And if it was, you guys already know, make sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe as well to support me. Thank you guys again as well for all your support as well that you've been showing me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.